Stockholm to the Melody Festival in 2017 welcome reception. The opening party with us now. Don't stop believing. She's here, Mariette. Hello, Mariette. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. I'm super. Yeah. How so are you? Fantastic to be back and also good to see you again. Thank you. We talked to you two years ago at Melody mm. Festival in 2015. Yeah. And you said, don't stop believing. Mm. Now you're coming back with another song, A Million Years. A Million Years, yeah. Tell us a bit about that song. Uh, in my ears and world, it's a fantastic pop song. Uh, but it has a, a beautiful message that the love between people, we can be, we can all be hurt and like be apart from each other. But if the love is strong enough, we'll find our way back together. If it's a family relation or a relationship or whatever. So it's a beautiful, it's a, it's a song full of hope and it's bright and light. Did you write it yourself? I wrote it together with uh, Thomas Gesson, Peter Boström, uh, the Euphoria songwriters, and uh, Johanna Jansson, and my cousin, actually, Jenny Hansson. Wow, wow. Yeah. So, so yeah, we have a, a big group of people behind it. Yeah. How easy is it to write a song, and uh, how do you go about to do this? Uh, it's... Uh, it's the ideas you get, and then you have yeah. to put them all together. Yeah, the process, it, it looks different every time, but... This song, Gesson, Boström and Johanna, they had an idea uh, and I wanted to change some parts of the lyrics and the production. So we kind of worked together and uh, you know, these days you don't really have to, you don't really have to sit in the same room. You can, you can write internet. songs over the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When did you start uh, creating the song then, for this holiday festival? Uh, I think the first version, uh, Gesson Boström and Johanna started in uh, April, I think. Wow, last yep. year in April, before, yep. right after Melody Festival in 2016. Yeah, right? yeah I think that was the first uh, idea yeah. came up there. So two years ago you were there, but now you, you come, come back this year. Why didn't you come back last year already? Last year? Last year. Did you try last year? No. Why didn't you come back in 2016? Why didn't I? Yeah. Oh, because um, I, I thought it was like um, too close, I think. Okay. I just got out of the mellow bubble. It's like <laughs> so intense. And I, I got to have my, my own tour. I, I put, put together a band and I played live a lot. And I thought it was too, too close. I just wanted to to skip to a skip it a year, a year and and you never know I mean it's not a guarantee to be in the competition yeah uh, but luckily I got the chance now again to go for a second time yeah uh, we also saw you uh, passing the points for Sweden yeah at the that's true 2015 yes uh, how does that feel to do that I was very nervous and you know you have these uh, in your monitors in, yeah in your monitors and it's like the delay is I think up to two seconds, so it's really hard, and I was really nervous, but I enjoyed it so much. Yeah. It was very cool saying like hi to Europe. And beyond, it's, it's really, really uh, It's huge. awesome, yeah, it's true. It's amazing. Australia, that, that, and, yeah. That you get in there. yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, have you ever been able to go to Eurovision as a, as a spectator? No, never, never. So, well, yeah, hopefully I, you can I would get love that to. Ticket, yeah. yeah, hopefully. Um, that's what I'm, uh, you know, you have to have the hopes, you have to believe, uh, but now it's really just up to the Swedish people to vote, what they want to, uh, to, to Sweden to, to represent, to yeah, to give and the international jury, yes. so it's really up to them, exactly. but I'm going to do my best and I'm aiming high and it would for sure be a dream. You have a fantastic stage show with the mm. song uh, this year, as well as you had two years ago. Mm. Uh, who had the idea to do this? That was my cho choreographer, Sein Odelstol. Okay. I, he was also in the Don't Stop Believing number. Uh, so I thought, if I'm going to do Melody Festival again, I want him as my choreographer. And he had this awesome idea, and I was like, yes, that's what we're going to do. What I like, like about you and also Ace Wilder, Ace has, has written a song for you as well. 
is wilder. Yeah, so on my EP, yeah. The, what, what song is that? Uh, say never. Say never. Yeah. So how, how, that, how does that, that come together? That that you uh, work together with Ace Wilder? I, I was touring with her okay. for uh, more than a summer. Uh, I play the guitar mm -hmm. and I sing. So I was in her band. Okay. Yeah, 2013, 14. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, are you a full-time musician or you also have another job? No, I'm a full-time full -time, full -time musician, time. artist, songwriter, guitarist, yeah. I'm asking that because in, in Malta it's not like that. No. Artists have always two or three other jobs. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Here it's, it's it can good. happen here too. I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's a hard business. It's really hard. So I, I feel very lucky that I can, I can do this full-time. This is really amazing, a amazing. privilege. Have, have you you've taken part in Melody Festival? But you also have to have a bit of a knowledge of the previous years. Yeah. So what, are, what are your first memories of Melody Festival and have you any favorite songs in there? You mean my first memories ever? Yeah. That would be uh, Karuala. Singer? Karuala. Okay. Uh, when I was a little girl, I, I, of course, I watched Melody Festival and I think it was uh, Fong, Fongar of a Storm Wind. Oh, wow. Fongar of a Storm Wind. I was like uh, almost Carola. in love with Carola. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so then I thought maybe I can be there one day. And here I am. And that's the step one. Yeah. To do into Melody Festival final. Next step. We hope you're going to take it. Yeah. I wish you all the best of luck for, for so uh, Saturday to get that ticket. Yeah. But I also would like to know from you what, what are you going to do after Melody Festival and after your vision? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue touring, yeah. releasing songs. I mean, this is what I love, and this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. So I want to perform. I want to write music. I want to reach people. I want to touch people. In that context, yeah. Um, uh, if you were not a musician or an artist, what would you want to be? Uh, I think something to help other people. Um, in any way actually but my, my brother my big brother he's a chiropractor chiropractor and I know he helps people every day even though it seems like a small part in in your life but I would want to do something that that make people's lives better in some way you have a good heart yeah, I, I think, think it I do. It's out as well when you are coming onto the stage. Mm. We wish you all the best of luck. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you.